you want to sit down? I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Okay. You're going to sit down. You're going to look straight into the camera. Can you do that? Okay. So this. Can you introduce yourself, Cal? Do you want to get a sucker after this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. What is your name? A uh, cow. Okay. What? How old are you? Uh, three. Where do you live? Um, a, uh, a tree. At a tree? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, Can you look at the camera? Uh, bubble Guppies. Bubble Guppies? Uh huh. And Shrek. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food? Um, hot sauce. Hot dogs? No, hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce, okay. <laughs> What's mommy's favorite drink? <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. What does daddy do for a living? Um, there. Ah. Whoa. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, uh, fire, 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 fire. A fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> how do people film with children in the room? Hey. This is my life. This is it. Okay. I'm going to see if I can distract him with some puzzles so that I can give you guys his three-year-old update. Um... He just turned three at the beginning of August, and there's a lot that I wanted to update you guys on. Kind of the big major things like potty training, nap time, um, school, all that good stuff. But, of course, I need to get him occupied before I can talk. Look. Okay, look, Cal. You're going to take the puzzle apart and put it back together. Oh. Do you know what animal that is? Um, a bee. It's a ladybug. Um. It's a ladybug. A ladybug. Oh, yeah. Lady. You're going to put it back together and make it look like a ladybug again. Oh. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is his preschool. So he is in preschool right now. Um, it is a two-day-a-week preschool. It is, I think it's five hours a day, so it's a pretty long one. They actually have lunch there and everything. And he did this back in February. He started when he was two and a half, and he went two days a week then. Um, for the spring and then summer he had off we didn't do any school and then he started up again for the fall semester so with his school though he was supposed to be in a group age group um, two two year olds that would be turning three this year and he would have been the oldest his birthday is right at the beginning of August so it's just kind of a um, interesting he's always either gonna be the very oldest or the very youngest so they bumped him up due to the capacity of the other class so he's now in a class with all three-year-olds that will be turning four this year so he's the very very youngest um, which means everyone else is potty trained everyone else is almost a whole year older than him so I'm hoping it's gonna be a good thing I know going forward like when he goes to uh, public school if that's what we choose to do which most likely it will be um, when he goes to public school we will probably hold him back until he is um, the oldest in his class. I've just heard that people do better as the oldest and I kind of agree. So that's what we're going to do when he goes to like regular kindergarten. We'll probably hold him back. Sure. So yeah, he actually did really great going. He did not have any meltdown. Um, the first time he went to school, he cried pretty much every time I dropped him off for the first like week or maybe two weeks. I can't really remember, but this had no issues at all and he was just like so excited to go and start learning but anyways he really likes it let me know if your guys's um, kids go to preschool I know like some I feel like it's uh, area to area like some areas everyone goes to preschool at a certain age some areas no one starts school until kindergarten um, but I really like it because it also gives me time with crew and, and he actually seems to learn a whole lot too so I'm gonna open this one too can you tell them what this is a bumblebee. A bumblebee. Uh -huh. Okay, the next topic I'm going to talk about is potty training. So, I cannot believe that he's three and he's still not potty trained, but we're working on it. Um, I did work on it a lot this summer and we've kind of worked on it probably about three times 
for like maybe even a week and every time he just ended up regressing so I gave it a break and now we're at the point where it's just kind of like a tough topic and I think I've honestly waited too long now because it's gotten really really hard if I even bring it up he just doesn't doesn't even want to talk about it just wants to wear a diaper doesn't want to wear underwear at all he kind of like throws a fit if I even bring it up so we're <laughs> We're, we're, we're figuring that out right now, but one good thing is that his preschool is going to be working with him on it as well, and then, like, he goes to daycare at the gym every day. You guys know I go to the gym for about an hour every morning, and so he's been going to that daycare since he was six months old, and today when I went and picked him up, he was in the bathroom, and I was like, does he... She's like, oh yeah, he always asks to go to the bathroom, and they he goes to the bathroom at daycare. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, so anyways, it's something that he's definitely like interested in and knows how to do. It's almost like he's just being stubborn with me on purpose. I don't know, but he won't do it when I talk to him about it. But when he when he's with other people, clearly he will have no issues using the bathroom. So we're trying to figure that out. Any advice would be greatly appreciated in that topic. Um, another thing would be pacifier. I. <laughs> I, he was also using a pacifier until he was three and it was just for nap time and bedtime. I took it away when he turned two and then I got lenient because I had a baby and I just couldn't deal with the no nap time. Like he was just really struggling without his pacifier so I just gave in and gave it to him for naps. Anyways, when he turned three. Oh no! Oh no, did it pop? He turned three, we we knew we were gonna get rid of it, and David thought that I had, I guess he thought that I had threw it away because he asked Cal, and it was actually just in the washing machine, and uh, Cal told him that I threw it away, so, and since David puts Cal to bed pretty much every night anyways, he went like three nights before he even asked me about it, he's like, man, I can't believe you took away his pacifier on his birthday, and I was like, what are you talking about? I never even took it away. It was in the washing machine. So he went like three days without it and then that was it. Then we never looked back. We threw them all in the trash and he doesn't need one anymore, which is amazing. Okay, another thing that I've been getting a lot of questions about is his crib. Is he still in a crib? Are you guys going to transition him to a toddler bed? Um, the answer is yes, he's still in a crib. No, we're not going to transition him. Eventually we will, um, whether he tries to climb out or he just shows interest, that's dangerous. So he's going to stay in his crib until he either A, tries to climb out of it, which I feel like we may have already gotten through that stage because he's a he actually never really tried to do that, and I feel like now he's old enough to not do that, um, or B, if he like starts asking that he wants a big boy bed. So that's when we will change. We actually have the converter stuff already. We bought it when we yeah. bought this crib, so it can convert into a toddler bed, and then we also have the converter to make it into like a queen or a full or whatever it does next. So we have all the pieces, we're just not doing it because he shows zero interest. He actually really, really loves his crib, so we're keeping it like this for a while. And as far as nap time, he's still on a one nap a day schedule. He's been on that since he was like one years old, and he takes a two hour nap, and he definitely still needs it. I don't know what age. Yeah. I don't know what age yeah, kids still. stop taking naps, but he needs one like he's a totally different person after he has his nap so he still takes one two hour nap every day um we also enrolled him in soccer which starts tonight i'm so excited so he's gonna start soccer i think it's like one practice a week maybe i don't even know the schedule and then some games here and there but it'll be fun with him he's gonna do it with one of his friends so he's so excited so that starts tonight all right it's funny because I wrote in here, I wrote like notes so that I could make this video, and I wrote in here that, that three is way easier than age two, and that is so not true. This must have been true like three weeks ago. It's not anymore. I said like he does solo playtime, TV, coloring. That's all true. It is easier in that sense. Like once, once he hit... Um, like two and a half, he was really into TV, which sounds bad, but it is helpful when you're taking care of a newborn. Um, it was really nice that he could watch shows on his own um, and be interested in them. He also loves to color, so there are things that he can do by himself that kind of give me that time to nurse the baby or like clean up the house and do things. It makes it easier in that sense, um, but he's a lot harder discipline wise and just like being out in public right now I think it's just I'm hoping it's a short phase um, but he's very um, defiant and very uh, 
tests all the boundaries, tries to run away from me. All right, sorry for all the cuts. This video is gonna be such a mess. I ran out of space on my camera. But basically, he has um, been acting up a lot more recently, and it's been hard. But um, I'm hoping it's just a short phase. And that's pretty much it. He had his big birthday party. That was like um, a month ago now at this point. But he got a lot of fun toys. He really loves, at this age right now, he's loving dress up. He got a lot of dress up stuff. Um, I just opened up these puzzles that he played with for two seconds and threw them all over the floor. He also got this tent. It's like a pop up tent. Um, he got it from my parents and it's a fire truck and he absolutely loves that too. So those are kind of some of the toys that he's loving. Let me know what your three-year-old is up to, what kind of toys they like to play with. Um, if they're in preschool, if they're doing any um, extra activities. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Are you waving?